Well, there's a new 2019 movie that I saw last night. It wasn't very long. It was only about 90 minutes. And I didn't really know what to think about this movie. I thought it was going to be a big, dumb crocodile movie where, you know, there's a hurricane and there's crocodiles, you know, dumb stuff happen. But actually, this movie was so much better than I could have ever anticipated. Um, this movie that came out last year called The Meg, I was pretty certain this movie was going to be a bit like that, just with a big crocodile, but it wasn't. This movie was really good, and that's about the reasons why, because this film does exactly what it should do, in every single way possible, as well as it can do. Uh, Crawl is a damn good movie. This is a really good time. I was on the edge of my seat. This is a really good suspenseful thriller, monster movie. I really enjoyed it. The plot here is fairly simple, um, but there's a lot going on. Um, you know, it's sort of formulaic. We've seen these types of movies before, but we need these types of movies, I feel. This one doesn't really have any certain style to it. It doesn't have certain things that differentiate from others. But in ways that it creates tension, I think it does it very well. And again, for what they were going for, and I have to reiterate that because for what they were going for, they did a near-perfect job, in my opinion. And, yeah, I mean, it's a, there's a hurricane that turns into a huge flood, and there's big crocodiles everywhere, and uh, a daughter and a father who are very injured, and a dog, uh, are stuck in the basement of a house, and they keep having to go up to the highest level until they get to the roof uh, of this house that keeps flooding and flooding because of this hurricane, and there's crocodiles everywhere, and it's very intense. And in terms of the intensity... This movie does that the best. This movie is intense. I loved the tension in this movie. There was some gripping scenes, and I was a lot more invested in these characters than I thought it was. There's the minimal amount of setup you need for these characters that made you care. Did I really know these characters? No. But I at least cared for them in this situation. You know, it follows the typical beats of what you expect, but it should do that. But... You know, it doesn't have anything different or new. It's nothing I've not seen before besides huge crocodiles. And let's talk about those crocodiles for a minute. They're terrifying. They're amazing. The tension is filled. This movie doesn't play it safe. You know, this movie's like R-rated, and I love that. There's a lot of blood, a lot of gore, a lot of really intense stuff. And the movie is taken very seriously. This movie tries its very hardest not to be dumb. Not to have stupid character choices. Not to have ridiculous over-the-top ideas. You know, the, cro the crocodiles aren't flying in a bleeding tornado or something. I mean, the movie does take it seriously. It has its unique tea there. And it, it takes itself seriously that it sort of does make you care. And that helps with the tension a lot, because the film is quite realistic when it comes to building that intensity of their situation. The atmosphere they create, especially in the first 30 minutes in the basement, I thought was great. The setup also I really liked. Uh, I was anticipating what would come next, and to be honest, the film wasn't as predictable as I thought it would be. Some things happened that I didn't expect, and that's, you know, that's always going to happen. But I mean, I never once thought to myself in the film, Oh, this is going to happen in a minute. Oh, it's going to end like this. I was just having such a good time that I forgot that this movie wasn't all that great, and I just had such a great time watching these characters in this situation. And these definitely felt like human characters. They didn't feel like watered down, you know, complete dumb people. You know, these people, you know, are experienced, and this film does its best to develop those as characters as best they can while stuck in this very, very well done situation which I honestly was on the edge of loving. I really liked this film. In terms of issues with the movie, I wish it had a little more finality. I wish there was a bit more of the third act, because again, it is only 90 minutes. And I wish maybe it was a little bit longer towards the end. I wish there was more conclusion. And again, there is an over-familiar sense of the proceedings of what this film is. But again, I don't really think they could have made this film much better. It looks amazing, the cinematography looks great, the CGI for the crocodiles looks great. There's nothing much else I have to say about Crawl. I think it's definitely worth seeing, and if you like these sorts of movies, and this one is a serious movie. It is a thrilling, tense movie. And I really liked that. I really liked this film a lot more than I was expecting to, 
and I had a blast watching it, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and give Crawl a B plus. I'm also going to give this movie a 7.8 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one, guys, a lot more than I thought I would. Um, comment down below your opinions on Crawl if you did see it, and make sure to check out some of my other reviews on my channel. Of course, thank you for watching, and goodbye.